When we're called to be disciples, we're called to make disciples. So how are we helping you know, the disciples at your own church actually make disciples themselves? When I first started at Village Church and I went to one or two Alphas, God gave me the gift of right away having someone that I connected with that ended up giving her life to Christ on Alpha Day. And it made me so on fire um, for seeing more people experience this. There was sometimes this gap, sometimes people were missing after Alpha. It was an amazing experience. And I saw it with someone, they tried to join a community group and there's kind of this hard, where after people finish Alpha, where do you get them plugged into next? But when you're running them in these small groups, it's not so much about the program, it's right away about the relationship. So what we've seen with our groups is that they actually continue on. They're like, hey, now that we're done Alpha, what do you guys want to keep on doing? That's when I saw in my own life and so many other people's lives that evangelism really started taking root. So we have this couple in our church, uh, Emerson and Aida, and you could see they just loved people. He came up to me at work and was just like, uh, so Kim, hypothetically, if uh, someone wanted to run an alpha group, how, how would they go about it? And I think it was like a couple of days later, he came back to me. He's like, so um, yeah, we're, we're going to be running an alpha group. And they had seven people who were just in their lives that they had asked to join them for alpha and all said yes. And I just think it's such a testimony to who they are that they're in these relationships where people feel seen by them and also respected by them that they were willing to try Alpha with them. Even though they were not, none of them were from a Christian background because they trusted Emerson and Ada and because they felt loved by them just in their friendships, they were willing to try Alpha with them. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't a, I wasn't a Christian all my life. Um, I still consider myself to be a pretty new Christian. God's done some amazing transformations in my life, and so I've always had this group of friends, and they've seen this transformation, but I've never verbally evangelized to them. And so I've always wanted them to attend something like Alpha, but I always wanted someone to do it. Like, oh, if only there was a group there for them. And recently I was just like, you know what, maybe that group is us. And so I went down the list and called each one, expecting a no from all of them. And to my surprise, it was an easy yes. Another girl that was in our group, she actually was attending a high school, a Christian high school. And whenever she would go to class or school or whatever, she'd have chapel and she'd be like, this isn't real. Like, why is only Jesus the real one? So she always had that idea in her mind as she got older, didn't really think about anything else, didn't really, um, you know, ever look back to high school or anything like that. When we got to Alpha Day, when Emerson had the opportunity to pray with her, she literally felt chills all over her body. And she's like, what is this? What is going on right now? Instantly, everything that she learned from high school just came back to her mind and everything just completely flooded her mind, flooded her body, and she felt the Holy Spirit. And it was such an amazing story to hear her share that and actually be present in that moment and really allowing the Holy Spirit to be a part of that moment too. What we saw happen in these small groups was about, you know, 70 to 80% of them have all continued on into a small group. Some of them are, uh, you know, with everyone that started in the small group, some of them will have one or two people that drop out. Some of them have people who have still not yet given their life to Christ, but they're still walking alongside. And now there's this, you know, um, old alpha group running alpha themselves with like 24 people in them and this leader is now discipling people in his group to lead Alpha themselves and these are people who'd only done Alpha like the year before so it is this beautiful model of disciples who make disciples who make disciples. It has changed our friendship yeah. because it's so easy to bring things back to Jesus now in every situation and they are very receptive to it now. They actually ask questions, they actually want to hear more about it and so it's, uh, it's, it's drastically changed the dynamic of our relationship with them.